Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are flipping some items for profit. Oftentimes when I am shopping and listing items on my site, I'm doing that quicker than I can get items painted. So I list them up to be painted before my live sales and y'all go nuts for these items. So thank you so much for trusting me and purchasing these things before I even get a chance to finish them. I finished a few of the projects that sold. I'm gonna show you what I did to get them done and then show you a few other items I still have available. First up is this spool. I thrifted it for $1 and I'm going to turn it into an industrial style Lazy Susan. The Lazy Susan piece came from Amazon. I'll link it down below. I'm using DIY Aviary and my Klingon F30 brush to get this all painted up. Once that was dry, I grabbed my American Agriculture stencil and I'm just messing around with it, figuring out which piece I would like to use. And then I use a JRV stencil brush. This is a half inch, perfect for this stencil. Some crinoline paint and a very light hand with a very dry brush and a swirling motion. That will get this stencil completed with a nice crisp image. A light sanding with some 220 grit sandpaper to give it a distressed look. I decided to take it down and do a coat of Rust-Oleum clear matte enamel. You can tell on the middle of the spindle there was some water damage, so I just wanted to make sure everything was sealed up really well to stay nice and clean and crisp. Then some hot glue. I have Gorilla hot glue on my Gorilla glue gun and I am just going around with some jute rope from the Dollar Tree around the middle of the spindle to finish it off and give it a nice high-end look. It also has a nice industrial feel to it. Now I will attach the mechanism onto a wooden base flip it over and attach it to my spool. It's really easy to put these together. Um, I did end up using a thinner piece of wood. I took that thick piece off and attached a half inch piece. I liked that a lot better. Now the total cost for me was $12 to make this. I usually thrift things with the Lazy Susan, which makes that mechanism cheaper, but this was a special order from a special customer, so I ordered it off of Amazon. Total cost to me, $12. This sold for $26.95 plus shipping. Here is another spool I found for $1. I did a few of these a while back and they were super popular. So when I found these two spools at the thrift store next to each other, of course I snagged them up. I'm gonna put some feet on this one. I had this little wood round base from a different thrifted item and I was gonna do something different with it. This ended up working out perfectly. I'm using DIY Dark and Decrepit. It's an all-in-one product. It has a built-in sealer, so you can use it as a stain and a transfer gel, as a decoupage medium. Today I'm using it as a stain, and you see there I poured a little into water. Since it's a water-based product, it will mix really well, and I can lighten it up instead of using it at full strength. inch star end wood screws. I screwed the base onto the spool, added a little bit of the nautical rope from the Dollar Tree, and we are done. This spool sold quickly as well. 
My cost on this project was approximately $5. This spool sold for $18.95 plus shipping. Up, I had a ton of candlesticks I had made, listed them to be painted, several sold, so let's get them painted up and ready to ship out. I'm using a DIY crinoline on these because they have some amazing detail that I want to really highlight. I've got a Klingon R12. This is a little round brush and it's really good at getting in those details. Now because DIY paint is water soluble until it's sealed, I can use a wet rag to distress this. I've got just a damp rag here and I'm rubbing back the paint off of some of those details to give a beautiful distressed farmhouse look. I did about one and a half coats of paint on these, full coverage, but I wasn't too worried if there were a few bare spots because that helps it distress even easier. Once they were painted up, I grabbed my DIY clear wax and applied it over the paint. Then my dark decrepit dust to add a little bit of distressing around the edge of the fresh cuts on my wood rounds. You can see it really ages that wood and helps it blend in, look older, and it really matches the dark wood on the middle of the candlesticks as well. Here's a look at several of the candlesticks I completed, and I went ahead and finished up some signs as well. Now you'll be able to find these pieces in my salvaged wood, metal, and hardware collection over on my site, upcycledbybree.com. I still have a ton of candlesticks and signs available. I made 12 candlesticks total and sold them in sets. I got the bucket of spindles for $4 and I sold the sets between $24.95 and $28.95. For this next project, I pulled this crate I painted in DIY Apothecary out of my booth. It wasn't selling. And these pumpkins, they came off of a wreath I thrifted for just $5. The wreath had a ton of pumpkins on it, some good greenery, and a great base. So I really got my money's worth. I painted the pumpkins up in that same DIY crinoline. They're getting a coat of clear wax. And now I'm taking DIY dark wax in to highlight all of the details. I'd say this cost me a total of around three to four dollars for the whole project. I've had the crate for a while, so it's kind of hard to remember, but it did sell locally for $14.95. I needed to bust out my Cricut for a few projects. Now, I didn't get real in depth with my description on the Cricut projects today because that can be a lengthy video, but I will link a couple of my other Cricut videos here in the corner for you. I'm working on two projects today since I've got my Cricut out, a pumpkin enamel pot, and then finally adding some vinyl signage to one of the handmade signs I made a few weeks back. I designed everything in Cricut Design Space, and then I cut my stencils, weeded out all of the vinyl letters. The letters are what I'm wanting today. So I weeded out all of the extra vinyl. And then I transferred my vinyl lettering onto this Cricut transfer tape. So it is a little bit of a process. Once you learn it though, it is not difficult. It just takes a little patience. I'm using my transfer tape now here and laying my vinyl letters down onto my enamel pot and then I rub all of my letters down really well to make sure they stick and remove the transfer tape. Now my vinyl lettering is transferred onto my pot. I 
original pot was free, it is actually the pot that all of those spindles came in for the candlesticks. I have a, maybe a dollar worth of vinyl on here, and this project sold very quickly for $24.95. And this is why I love having a Cricut, y'all. I can get very detailed and design whatever kind of vinyl lettering or stenciling I desire. This sign I created from pieces of an old bed frame and the metal piece came off of the shell of an old vintage trunk. I put it all together, painted it up, and it's been sitting. I finally added this apothecary signage what do y'all think drop me a comment down below this is definitely my favorite project from today this is another little metal container that just wasn't selling so i brought it home to give it a makeover the texture on it reminded me of a fabric so i decided to paint it up and diy faded burlap it got a coat of clear wax and then highlighted with white wax one of my very favorite simple makeovers i added some greenery in and this sold before i had even painted it so it is on its way to its new home I wanted to show you just a couple more before and afters. I didn't have time to do a full DIY on these, but I wanted to explain the process. This aluminum pot I grabbed for $2.99 at a thrift store when I was down in Florida. I painted it with DIY a little black dress and did a stencil in Farm Fresh with the DIY teal wax. I'll link all those products down below if you want to check them out. This cute little wheelbarrow I did start on a live video, didn't quite get it finished, but I used crinoline, prairie gray, and gypsy green from DIY and added some cute little pumpkins to update the arrangement. If y'all loved today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you leave a comment, let me know which project was your favorite. I would greatly appreciate it. That's going to help me know what kind of projects to bring you here in the near future. If you're interested in any of the paint and products, they're on my site, upcycledbybree.com. But of course, that's always listed down in the description box below for you as well. If you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe and hit the little notification bell to all. That way, YouTube will let you know every time I upload a new video. Till next time, I'll see y'all later. Bye, friends.